Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and I'm so excited to stamp with you today. I have what I think is a pretty awesome project and it features a couple of my favorite products. First of all, I'm going to use the Hand Penned Petals Bundle. This is one of the most popular bundles from the annual catalog and I'm combining it with a brand new product that I'm literally giddy about because it's just so awesome. And that is this amazing, beautifully penned, oh, I can never remember the names, beautifully penned DSP. This is free with a $50 purchase uh, from my online store. And there's gorgeous prints in here. And I'm going to use that on this card. So let me show you how I did this. Now this... Um, Hand Pen Petals is the subject of my All-Star Tutorial Bundle this month. Um, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle team from around the world has put together some truly amazing projects. They're really fantastic. They are every time. But you can get all 12 of these All-Star Tutorial Product uh, or All-Star Tutorial Project Tutorials for free with a $50 purchase in my online store. You can purchase this for $15 and the link is in the description of this video or you can earn it for free for being a part of my team. So there's all kinds of ways to get this. Now, let me show you how I created this card and then I will go through those details again at the end of the video in case you didn't catch that. So I'm going to start with a, a basic gray card base, as you can see, and I just love these colors they're bright and cheerful and you know that is what I am all about so I've got um, a nice uh, basic gray card base which will really let my colors pop I've taken a three and a half by four and three quarters panel of Coastal Cabana you know the color that lets us know God loves us and I have embossed it with the bark embossing folder which is from our annual catalog and I'm going to attach that to my card with some seal plus I love seal plus on um, embossing folders because it really does a good job of sticking to that kind of bumpy paper um, and then it won't fall off my card which I love I've cut two pieces of that uh, beautifully penned DSP. Um, this is just such gorgeous paper. And the, the square is three inches square, and then this strip is one and a half by four and a quarter inches. And once again, I'm gonna use my Seal Plus to attach because I'm kind of going over. Okay, I got my fast, or yeah. Seal Plus on here. Gosh, did I say Fast Fuse? <gasps> Naughty Dina. Okay, now it's uh, stuck to my card really nicely. We'll put a little bit more on my square piece. And we'll just kind of center that onto my card like this. Oh, I love that. Now I've gone ahead and die cut a circle and a coordinating scallop circle uh, from the, this is mango melody cardstock and this is white and the layering circles dies are the best okay now I'm gonna switch to seal because it's just it's a little easier to use you can use seal plus for everything but seal is a little bit more economical which is always nice okay so I've got that on there and then I'm gonna take my sentiment and one of the things I love about this set are the sentiments that come with it um, I'm going to stamp that sentiment right way in the kind of the corner, if you will, of my circle. I realize circles don't have corners, but I think you get what I'm saying. I'm going to really tight in that little spot right there so that I can fit my flower over the top. Now I'm going to pop this up onto my card and then we're going to get to the stamping part. Um, for this, I've got some dimensionals, so I'll pop this up onto my card and then we'll stamp and color. Now, one of the things I love about this set is that it's really easy to work with um, as far as stamping and coloring is concerned. Um, this image is one I'm going to actually use with my Stamparatus. So I've positioned uh, this on here. Oops, let me switch it to this side. Okay, so I've got my image on here. Let me grab my scrap paper. And I'm going to stamp this. Let's see. 
make sure it'll fit. Yes, almost. Get rid of this. As you can see, I was <laughs> using this piece for my sample project. There we go. Okay, I'll position that here with my um, magnet, and then I'm gonna stamp with my memento. Memento black is my favorite black to stamp outline images with, especially if I'm going to do coloring with my um, Stampin' Blends. Now, I had got like the coolest gift. Um, this is a hockey, an air hockey thing. Like, I don't know what the official name of this is, but it works really well for applying pressure to larger stamps on your stamp radius. How cool is that? Because the little felt will just go over your thing. Usually I use my sleeve, but Karen, who's on my team, she sent me this, like, wasn't that the sweetest? So I was pretty excited about that gift. Okay, so I've got that done. Um, and the reason I like to use my stamp radius is one, two, twofold. One, this is a larger image, and so it, um, whenever you stamp a larger image, I prefer to have the option of re-stamping it if maybe I didn't ink it up real well or whatever. So the Stamparatus will let me stamp it twice if I need to, and it'll be perfectly aligned. The other part is, um, there we go, is that it's, uh, because it's a larger image, I don't have to kind of try and hold it with a block and get it stamped well, you know? So I just like that feature of it. Now I'm going to stamp down um, this bold image in some Calypso, or I'm sorry, Coastal Cabana ink. I'm gonna stamp my little flower on here uh, in some Mango Melody ink. And again, one of the things I love about this set is that the images are not super perfect. So if you kind of get them in there close enough, you get good results. So I love that part. Okay, I've also got a couple of leaves, which you can see I'm going to stamp these in Granny Apple Green, which is one of my faves. It's a nice vibrant green. And while the stamp set has the leaves, it doesn't really have anything to color the stems in. So that's where my Stampin' Blends come in real handy. So I'll take the dark Granny Apple Green. And again, this is where Stampin' Up! just rocks because we've got all the products that coordinate. The cardstock, the ink, the markers, all of it matches. So that's so fabulous. Now these are alcohol-based markers. And so I'm just going to go over, uh, I did the darker first, and then I'm going to kind of color in with the lighter. And because the stamps that stamped the color on here are not perfect, um, you can see I'm not worried about stamping or coloring this in perfectly either. So it's all going to look great. Now I wanted to add just a little bit more um, to my stamped image. So I'm going to take my dark Bermuda Bay blend, and I'm just going to go right over the top and just kind of draw in some sketchy lines on here to add some uh, shading because I think that'll look fantastic. Just kind of add a little bit more interest to my flower. And I could also have done this with a little uh, sponging with a sponge dauber on my card, but uh, this works really nicely as well. Just getting in there a couple more spots. And there you go, that looks fantastic. Now I'm going to use the dies that come in the bundle to die cut this image out. So I'll line this up on here. And when I've got it positioned on here the way I like, uh, I'm going to just kinda stick a post-it over here to hold it in place and I'll run it through my machine, I'll be right back. All right, here we go, doesn't that look fantastic? Oh, such a pretty image. All right, now let's put our card together. You know we're gonna pop this baby up because it's just so pretty. I've got a sheet of dimensionals that I'm trying to use up here. And I'm gonna punch or <laughs> pop uh, a bunch of these on here so I get my flower image popped up really nicely. And I love the sentiment in this, by the way, the feel better friend, such a nice cheerful card to send to somebody who's not uh, feeling the best. Maybe they're going through an illness or something 
um, a little bit more dramatic. This certainly would brighten anybody's day. Um, so I'm going to put that on here like so. And do you see how it just fits perfectly with my sentiment like that? Now I wanted to jazz this up with just a little embellishment. So I'll take one of my elegant faceted gems. Oh, one of my favorites. Ooh, this one went flying. My take your pick tool is just so handy for this kind of stuff. We'll just pl pluck that right in there and it looks fabulous. And then I'm also going to add a bow. I feel like it just needs a bow. You know, sometimes a card just needs a bow. So I've got my pool party uh, sheer ribbon. This is in the annual catalog and I'm just gonna tie a bow like so and put that on here. Now the great part about this is it's sheer, so it's not it's not too bright. It's not gonna take away from what's happening on my card, but it is gonna just add a nice little touch. And this sheer ribbon almost sparkles a little, I think, just the way it is, so I like that. All right, we'll put that right below our sentiment, and isn't that a gorgeous card? Now if you would like more inspiration with this awesome set um, or bundle, like I said, I've got the All-Star Tutorial PDF. I also have an inc incredible online class that features um, pre-cut cardstock for nine amazing projects. All of these are different. So the All-Star Tutorial is one thing, and then my online class is another thing. I'll look, put the links to both of those in the description of this video. So if you would like to get either of those, you certainly can. You, again, can get that um, PDF for free, 12 video tutorials. The instructions include metric and English units. So no matter where you are in the world and what kind of cardstock you use, there are directions in here for you. And then there's a video for each of these projects. So it's a great deal. My online class also features nine projects, videos for everything, um, and all kinds of fantastic stuff. And there's also an optional add-on for the memories and more cards that are also in the catalog that coordinate with this suite. So great, great inspiration all around. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Otherwise, I hope you loved this card. I hope the bright colors brightened your day. And if you could give me a thumbs up, that would rock. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking that little box in the corner and you won't miss any more of my awesome videos. Thanks for stamping with me today, friends. Have a great day. Bye.